tests and is close to trigonometry, which I'm sure we're all familiar with from school. Also, there are fun things like fractal geometry, which are mathematical patterns which are scale invariant, which means you can zoom into them forever, and they always look kind of the same. Topology looks at different properties of spaces where you're allowed to continuously deform them but not tear or glue them. For example, a Mobius strip has only one surface and one edge, whatever you do to it. And coffee cups and donuts are the same thing, topologically speaking. Measure theory is a way to assign values to spaces or sets, tying together numbers and spaces. And finally, differential geometry looks at the properties of shapes on curved surfaces. For example, triangles have got different angles on a curved surface. And brings us to the next section, which is changes. The study of changes contains calculus, which involves integrals and differentials, which looks at the area spanned out by functions or the behavior of gradients of functions. And vector calculus looks at the same thing, but for vectors. Here we also find a bunch of other areas like dynamical systems, which looks at systems that evolve in time from one state to another, like fluid flows or things with feedback loops like ecosystems.